What's up everybody, this is MicroGX and today I'm bringing you my review of Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Batman v Superman the movie that has been a dream for so many has finally come to the big screen and there's a mixed bag of feelings towards this. People really love it whilst others hate it, or there's people who have an in-between opinion. So let's just get reviewing this thing. So Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice is a continuation of Man of Steel where Superman and Zod battled out in Metropolis, absolutely destroying the city, killing a lot of people in the process, but this time we find out Bruce Wayne was there, sees the destruction and what Superman can do, also a lot of people he cared for died during the chaos, he just can't accept that a being with that much power, an alien of all things, caused so much destruction and death, so he decides he has to take Superman down, and two of the biggest superheroes ever are gonna throw down. All the while Lex Luthor is up to some dastardly deeds, what else would you expect? First of all, Ben Affleck as Batman is brilliant, he is by far one of the best aspects of the film, he has proved a lot of people wrong with his performance, remember when people absolutely lost their shit when Ben was cast? Well look what's happened. He is just so badass and is one of the best on screen Batmans we have had. His suit is also amazing looking, it looks like it was ripped straight out of a comic book page. Michael Wilkinson, the costume designer of this movie, needs a standing ovation for his work. And that suit is perfect. The portrayal of Bruce Wayne was also great, he got me behind him. He made me understand why he resented Superman for what happened. I liked him out of the cowl as much as I did him in it. He just did a fantastic fantastic job. All known the change they did to him got to me a bit. I don't know if this is considered a spoiler so you can skip ahead if you don't want to hear anything. Batman kills in this film. I know I've seen him kill before but that was in his early, early days of comics and in earlier films, but a few examples out of his nearly 75 year history don't matter if not killing has always been Batman's thing. He's shooting, mowing down, blowing up guys left, right and centre. He just doesn't give a fuck. And there's no reason behind it. A scene with Bruce saying the old ways didn't work, not killing got Robin killed or something along those lines would have worked it out but he's just straight up killing and it feels like the last 50, 60 to 70 years of Batman's rule got flung out the window. Henry Cavill does a good job as Superman, he's not amazing but he's improving with each movie performance. If you didn't like him in Man of Steel because of the tone they had and the way they took the character, you're not going to like him more here. He's the same brooding sort of Superman. I think they might have pushed him more in that direction. He isn't a colourful, joyous Superman we all know, which is why some people just don't like Man of Steel as it took most of that away. I know Superman has had dark stories and really shitty times in the past, but he always brought it back and was the bright light in those situations. Now, I liked Man of Steel, the way they took him didn't bother me as much as everybody else, but I was expecting a little less moodiness this time around. I thought him being more used to being Superman, being seen as a hope to so many would have lightened him up a bit and made him a bit more happy, but he's more dark and moody, which can be said for the whole movie, and the next time he shows up I hope they liven him up a bit and go more towards the Superman we know, as I'm a bit tired of mopey Superman, but Carol does a good job of this version of Superman they created for these films. Moving on to Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman who surprised the hell out of me. I went into this thinking she'll do alright, she won't be very good, she wasn't my choice for Wonder Woman but holy crap did she pull it off. She has completely changed my opinion of her. Whilst her appearance was brief, she's in it for about 20 minutes or so, those are some of the best minutes in the movie and some of the coolest scenes are during that time and I wanted to see more of her and I'm looking forward to her solo movie now. Her reason for being in this is pretty stupid now. Batman v Superman is a beautiful looking movie, and that's the one thing Zack Snyder is guaranteed to give us. He knows how to make a great looking movie and make each shot look amazing. The film is also filled with the Snyder trademarks such as slow motion and particles, in this instance a lot of rain. He also brings his great action scene work with him, the action in this movie is great. The fight between Batman and Superman had me on the edge of my seat. It was a little short though, no. it builds up for that long and when it gets to it this played in my head. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble! Then it's over before you know it, but the things you see in that fight scene are pretty great. I think that's all the positive I could get out of it. There's a lot in this film I did not like, such as the pacing. The pacing is terribly done. The film can't decide what it is, it jumps around a lot from a story based movie, an action movie, weird Lex Luthor shit, a government hero movie, a Batman movie, a mini Man of Steel 2, a short Wonder Woman movie and just lots given to Justice League characters and a sort of Justice League prequel. There's just too much from this film to handle and the individual stories don't flow together all that well. And it's quite jarring when all that information 
information is jumping about at you. It's a bunch of comics shoved into an incoherent storyline. The way they handled the Justice League parts really saddened me actually. It just felt really lazy and not a lot of care was used to handle them. It's just totally ham fisted. I'm trying not to spoil anything but I will say we've seen him in an email. A fucking email. Seeing the characters in the eye and so many of his love introduced like that was kinda hurtful. It felt like they didn't really give a shit and flung them in there just so we get reminded that a Justice League movie is coming. We know it's coming. I just feel that they could have done that a lot more smartly, like news reports about a red blur sighting, Luther and his teams talk about weird activity going on in the ocean, articles about Victor Stone's injuries and his father's work in cybernetics, and he could still find out about them as Clark, Bruce and Diana could see and hear these things, and it would show you that more superheroes are out there without harming the main story, which all the stuff pushed in there did. Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor I did not like. The little outbursts and noises he did were really annoying from the oh, ah, hmm, aha, oh, ah, hmm, they just kind of weird. During those moments where I could see him is quite menacing and I could see hints of Lex Luthor in there, it's just overshadowed by the Riddler. He is playing the Riddler. Why wasn't he the Riddler? The weird insane outburst the way they took Lex Luthor just didn't work for me. Also Doomsday is just how I fought, just popped in at the end. If you remember the trailer where he appears and it just feels like he's there just for the sake of it, that's how it feels. He's just there so they can come together. So Batman v Superman has things in it I like from Ben Affleck's Batman, Wonder Woman, the action, the cinematography and just the look of the film and there's things I didn't like. The pacing was all over the joint. There was too much going on from the pacing to keep along with it. People are saying the extended R rated cut might fix that but that shouldn't be in the case. It shouldn't need that for it to be better. It's Watchmen all over again. It felt like five different movies Frankenstein together. The way they took certain characters, they took a giant shit in some of the source material. They took one of the biggest no-killing characters out there and let him kill whoever he wanted because PPUs act like guns! And how they introduced other major characters was lazy as fuck. The film was just filmed with world building and the fact I felt like it couldn't decide on what movie it wanted to be. It was just kind of a mess. I'm not saying it's terrible or a piece of shit. It just wasn't great or amazing either. It's pretty average. For all in this, Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice gets a 6 out of 10. I was really looking forward to this movie and in my opinion the 3 year wait wasn't worth it. Well and that's it for me guys, if you liked the video rock it on that like button, leave a comment and tell me if you've seen the movie and what you think of it, also don't forget to subscribe as it really helps me out. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.